Hello and welcome to another episode of Liberty and Libations. Um, if you are new here, um, this is episode number two and uh, this is a series where I make cocktails that coincide with my songs on my album uh, by Liberty, which was released on July 16th, 2021 by Nola Blue Records, produced by John Namath. Um, hi, I'm Tiffany Pollock. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be doing a cocktail that, in my opinion, tastes exactly like a lemon meringue pie. And I am making this cocktail to go with my song, Mountain, which is about my dear friend, David McGilvery, who uh, grew up with me in Slidell, where Bayou Liberty is, um, and was really there for me through some pretty tough times in my life. And I used to always go, he used to work at the Old Town Tavern in Old Town Slidell, which is like where you go to hang out in Slidell. And he was a doorman there and I would go in there and hang out and he always wanted to do lemon drop shots. And he doesn't drink anymore, but I feel like if he did still drink, he would like this cocktail. So without further ado, let us do the, what am I doing? The lemon meringue pie cocktail for my dear sweet friend, my mountain, David McGilvery. Okay, here we go. First, I have a cocktail shaker. This is a Boston shaker. Boston shakers are my favorite. Um, before I found out about this, which I found out about watching one of my favorite, my favorite, not one of, my favorite cocktail series on YouTube, How to Drink. I'm the worst because I don't remember what his name is. I just know that it's called How to Drink and that he's hilarious and I will link his YouTube channel down below because I love him. He's funny, he is very knowledgeable and I've learned a lot from watching his stuff as you know, I was going through my cocktail journey this pandemic, learning how to make cocktails and making my own recipes and stuff. Anyway, this is a Boston shaker. I used to use the kind that have the little like filter on it that you buy, you know, from like Walmart and the top would always get stuck and I hated it. And a Boston shaker and one of these doodads, whatever this is called, really solves that problem. So just saying. Boston shaker. I'm gonna fill it up with some ice. Whatever, this drink is, my hands are clean. All right, I got some Tito's vodka. Tito's. And I'm gonna put in two ounces of that. Glug, 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 glug. Two ounces of Tito's. And I just went to Trader Joe's out in Metri. And you can't see this because for some reason my green screen turns yellow things speckly. But uh, this is the French Market Sparkling Lemonade from Trader Joe's. It's delicious. And we're going to do two ounces of that. Woo, it's fancy. This is lemon juice that I already pre-squeezed and put into this thing. Lemon juice. Welcome to my kitchen. I always like to juice my lemons ahead of time when I know that I'm gonna be making lots of cocktails, you know, if I'm having guests or, you know, if it's gonna be me and Andy and we're just hanging out at home, <laughs> then I'm gonna be making more than like one or two cocktails. I hate having to cut
cut and juice citrus every single time I make a cocktail. So I juice ahead of time. I got this Big Mac Daddy juicer from Amazon like during the pandemic when I really got into this whole cocktail spiel. And it just makes squeezing lemons and limes and stuff a lot easier. So I would highly recommend getting one if you're gonna be making cocktails on the regular. I'll show you how I use it real quick. You just put the lemon or lime or grapefruit I've used on these on this thing. And oh wait. Put a cup underneath it. I live in New Orleans and so we always have a hefty supply of old Mardi Gras cups, which fit perfectly height and width underneath this thing. Oh my god. Oh. See? Easy. are always juicier. Do you ever get a bag of limes and they just are like dry as hell and don't have any juice in them? Because that happens to me all the time. This is so much more efficient than squeezing it by hand or using one of these doodads, which are great if you just need to juice like one lemon. But if you're juicing like a bag of lemons, this is what you need. There we have it. Oh. Now I'm gonna put it in something and I'm gonna keep it in the fridge till I'm ready for it later when I'm putting this cocktail together. I'm gonna do an ounce of lemon juice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Make it three quarters an ounce of lemon juice. And I'm gonna add a half an ounce of this Pink House Alchemy Vanilla Bean Small Batch Simple Syrup. It's really good. Uh, my friend, um, Eileen, she gave me this the last time I was in Alexandria, which is central Louisiana, visiting my Aunt Franny. And um, she gave me this because we were making cocktails and she had bought it and she didn't know what to do with it. And it's really perfect for this recipe. So I'm gonna do a half ounce of this. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Now I'm gonna do gonna do three quarters of an ounce of almond milk. This I feel like adds that kind of pie crust flavor because it's a little salty and nutty and it gives it that pie crust flavor. All right, now, now we gonna do, we gonna put an egg white in here, wait, hold on, let me make sure I got my trash can ready. Okay, we're just gonna put the white, and a lot of time, I don't even put like the whole white, I just put a little bit in there, and this will be like the meringue. This makes, oh my lord, that is a, ooh, that was a thick egg white, Lord Jesus. Oh, raw eggs are so nasty. Get, get. Oh, made it in the trash can. I'm gonna wash my hands, I'll be right back. Raw, raw eggs just kinda 
they just grossed me out just a little bit. But like, you just like get over it because I'm telling you, you gotta shake vigorously. They just. Do not make your cocktail in the small part of the Boston shaker and then stick the big part on top and then flip it over because something happens and it doesn't create the seal. And then you don't, and then you get cocktail everywhere. Just FYI. They just add like tiny bubbles. It's like a foam. It's so good. Shake, 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 da 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 Shake, 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 da 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 Shake your cocktail, da 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 Woo! Bartenders must have like, guns. Ah, I'm doing it. Terry's. Okay. Now I have this beautiful coupe glass. Hold on, let me get this dog. We don't put this thing on here. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Andy! Oh my god, it's so pretty. Look at the Oh my god, it's so pretty. I don't want to get an egg on my desk. But look at this. How beautiful that is. Come here, come around the other side. This is my husband, Andy. Taste it. Ooh, looks delicious. Frothy. Lemon meringue pie. Wow. Is, there, are there egg, is there egg in it? Yes. Mm. It smells good. Drink it. Mmm, that's delicious. Is it? Let me taste it. Yeah, it's really good. Not too sweet, not too lemony, not too... Oh my god, the egg white know. was the perfect. The egg white is like meringue. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. And the vanilla, is there a little vanilla in it? There is Pink House Alchemy Vanilla Bean. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yeah? Thanks. Is it Andy approved? It is. He likes it. <laughs> okay, thank Delish. you. That's it? That's yep. all you need? That's all I need. All right. Get this dog right, out I'm of here. He's my, obnoxious. I'm going to take my drink and go. Okay. I'm going to make one for me. myself in a minute. Call me if you need another taste test. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you all so very much uh, for hanging out with me and um, watching this video. And now, without further ado, um, I've got some footage of me driving out to Slide Out with Brandon Brinius, my guitar player, and I'm going to put that to Mountain so y'all can hear my song, Mountain. Brandon played guitar on it. Um, it was recorded in Memphis at Electrophonic uh, Studios. I mean, the whole album was. So uh, anyway, I hope y'all like it. Um, if you liked it, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you tried the cocktail and what you think. This one I'm super proud of. Like, you know, the Michelada we all know was like an epic fail. But this is delicious. And I'm going to make one for myself now. Um, so thanks a lot, y'all. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, next week we'll do it again. All right.
I just want to say a little bit more about uh, David McGilvery. Um, you know, there are people in your life who really make an impression on you and restore your faith in humanity, even when it seems that everyone is out to get you. And, you know, you have your family, and then, you know, you, sometimes you have friends that become like chosen family. And David is my chosen family. He's, I called him my mountain because not only is he like a giant mountain of a man, but you know, he was kind of my rock of Gibraltar for like a long time. I knew that whenever I was in trouble or um, if I ever needed someone, I knew that he was a phone call away. So, and I think that those kind of people are so important in your life. Um, in life. Anyway, Mountain is a love song for David because he really was my mountain. And, you know, he's just one of those people, even today, I mean, I'm married, I've got kids. You know, he's about to be getting married. Like, I know that if I, that if I was in trouble and I needed somebody, I know that I could still call on him and he'd hop on a plane in a heartbeat if I really needed him to. Not that I ever, you know, would, but... But it feels good to know that I could if I needed to. And those kinds of people are important. Anyway, cherish your loved ones. Um, and uh, be grateful for people in your life. Be grateful for the mountains in your life.
All right, I think I'm done now. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's mommy's turn for cocktails. Yay. Is that a pint? I don't know. I don't do math. I don't think it, maybe it's not a pint. That's close too much. <laughs>